Yeah. Welcome to Politics Watch JA for today, Thursday, May 25. And you know, we have all the questions to ask. Uh, we still not done half an Andrew Wellness yet. Um, so, we're there now with Mr. Logix, and we are going to look at reasoning. Mr. Logix, say something to you people before we start now. Yeah, man, big up to our listeners and viewers, big up people um, for the best content in politics, local affairs, global affairs. This is the show for you guys, so ensure that you like, subscribe, and share um, our podcast. All right, so we see where Andrew Wellness say he might listen to the people and he might hear what go on, and because of that, he might have solidarity. And him now gonna take the pay increase as a prime minister because he must yeah. be, he must be, he must be keep, keep. We well, well, don't know where much have to say he must try to sue the poor people him of Jamaica by right, not taking like, the salary, like he right? Understand, yeah. Yeah, understand, he understand. Yeah, understand, and he must listen. So more and more, more and more. Andrew Wallace, Andrew Wallace, come here, come sit down and listen to Politics Watch J.A. I want to ask you a question, Andrew Wallace. You are not MP. You are not MP. Exactly, he's, he's a member of parliament. Yeah, so you are not MP for... for, for. You are not MP for, 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 for your seat. So why, why you, you now get the pay increase as a member of parliament? How many of you are talking about that, Andrew Wallace? He's not, he's not going to decline now. <laughs> so, so we are telling him to say, him now, him now to take member of parliament here. Yeah. So, if that's around $12 million, um, so he's not going to decline now. In his eyes, that is good job for money. <laughs> no, but, Andrew only still a, still a play fool. You have to take off a fool, you know, if he does. So, why yeah, is man, he... He's taking, he's taking the population of a fool, especially the voters. And, and one of the reasons why they are... I'm glad to mention that point, taking us a fool, right? You know, you, do you know that the Jamaican politicians, right, know that when they take the Jamaicans for fools, right, it is like luxury to them. You know why? Why? Because they know that the majority, majority of the person that goes out to vote are uneducated. Mm. So where educated people are they not vote? Most of the educated people stay back. Oh, they don't vote. Educated people in the like... last election, just imagine in the last election, only 34% of eligible voters actually go to, went, went out to vote. 66% of the population did not vote. So why 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 Andrew Wallace not ask the member of parliament them, the jail piece and the councillor? We go in solidarity and don't take the pay increase. Why? I I saw somebody asking a question and say, um, and I'm glad that is a very good question because somebody mentioned that a, a popular first of the, the, the PSOJ, private sector, yes. um, say that our politics in Jamaica is in very serious condition when a leader can come out and say that um, he is going to reject um a salary increase right and all the other 49 or 48 members of parliament from his side of his of, of um of governance right from his party not one out of the 48 came out and said that they are going to reject it not one not of them one and generally when you have a leader of a party yeah especially with so many seats saying that you're going to do something in solidarity with the people yeah and one of your MP join in. That that, is a, that, 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 is, that is a disgrace. That that is a, none of them not agree with you, Andrew. I said they want their money. They want to get rich off yeah, of poor that, people. That, that, that's exactly what they're saying. And that is very embarrassing. So it, it, make, it also makes Ferris look like he's in um he's still in shit by himself. That means to Just say one person. That means to say if Andrew Wallace did that try to roll it back, he wouldn't get the support either. He wouldn't get the risk of it either, right? And then, you know, if, if he tried to roll it back on for everybody, he, he may um, actually probably come under leadership challenge. <laughs> right? So, but that goes to show how the grave danger that our politics in with greedy politicians. Not for one, you mean that your leader, you know, your leader for the party, you know, right? Came out and do something like that in solidarity with the people. And not one of you guys. 
I'm stood up and said, all right, I'm going to join my leader. Probably, probably I've, never I've, never, I've never seen that before, honestly. But, and the same thing goes for the, the People's National Party. But hold on, who's going to deal with People's National Party? But what may I say? Probably because yeah. them, why they not support Anjo? Because they probably decide they're going to challenge him as a leader because he's bringing them different type of accountability measures against them. And I think I think that is one of probably the accountable um the accountability measures is one. That is one cause he said that they're going to be fined for MPs that don't show up on Tuesday in cities, right? Mm -hmm. The question is how much um those fines will be. Cause we already know that probably likely it's like five thousand or ten thousand. No, but hold on, hold on. Right? Them fines them. Them fines right. already exist already, you know. Yeah, they already exist already. Those fans are it's just enforcement. So when Angelus are come with that like say and something new, them fans already yeah. exist for, for MPs who miss parliament. Right, I was already I was reading this morning that though um regarding that those most of the policies and ethics ethics of car uh, as well as conduct in the parliament already existed. It's just coming to the forefront now because of what, what transpired. But you're right, those fines already existed, but they're not being enforced. That means a fool and draw take off again. And it, and, I, and it said that those fines were done, were, in, were came into law in 2021. So, so hold on. And we're now in 2023, so they have been there for two years. So, so, so them laws, eh, why him never come up with them? So if the, if the public never come out and I say, them no want the salary increase for the, for the politician. You want to tell we say them laws eh, exist for 2021. Because, because the public don't even know about it. <laughs> a fool and draw, me tell you, a fool yeah. and draw take the poor people in Jamaica, the working let class. Me tell, let me tell you what, let, let us be honest as well with regarding these signs, right? Um, most of us that watch news, like I am one of the persons that always watching news, right? Year before last, that's in 2021, and also sometime last year, Times and News, that's um, TVG, they did a report, right, of the parliamentarians, the, the parliamentarians in Garden House that missed the most days per year. I don't know if you remember that news. Yeah, me, yeah, they, yeah I think you remember. Yes. TVG did a, a, a research on it, and they, they listed all the MPs' names, because those information are available with the parliamentary sec secretary. They list all the names of the MPs that missed most of the days. They list the, the days that they, 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 um, the dates that they are supposed to um, show up, at least more, half of the, um, more, and uh, what, what, what basically transferred in that research was that most of the MPs miss over 10 cities. Yeah. Right? And some of them are... You know, from uh, one of the persons who are the MPs, like 20, 30 persons. So you have a lot of MPs who are not even in Parliament 50% of the time. Yeah. Now the question is, if TVJ did that documentary, uh, not even a documentary, but a, a news clip, right? Yes. On that two years straight, why weren't those um, MPs then fine according to the, the clip that TVJ produced? If the law was there from 2021. Right? There were no there were no reports in the T in the news that they were fine. Even after T V J highlighted that to the Jamaican public. Because there, there were no reports of them being fine. Right now, Andrew only said tell we say law exists for twenty twenty one now and we're not we're not sure because in, in love take Jamaican people for food. Yeah, and, and, and after that the media I like the, the media I like the whole thing. You would have come out and, and say boy we... that nobody was fine. <laughs> right now, right now, you see Andrew Wallace at talk about him not the Prime Minister's salary increase. Andrew Wallace needs to give you that in a right thing so that we can exactly. hold him accountable. Exactly. We need to prove, we need to prove of it. Right? He, he, I realize the Prime Minister is very Andrew active Wallace. on Facebook and Twitter and all his, um, all his social media platforms. In fact, you need to post those receipts on Twitter with the with signature and everything sign off. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew, the amount of promises where you where, where give. Jamaican people, Jamaican people, fool and fool and fool. One to the term yeah, limit, Mr. Andrew Wallace. That, you know, that is why the Jamaican population normally get tricked to vote because they normally accept what, 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 what But they are learning now, you know why they are learning? Why? You see, I, let me tell you why they are learning. Every time you see um, problems with voting, apathy, right? Yeah. Um, 
which means that in elections in 2000, we realized that the voting uh, percentages is declining. It's a sign that it's not a good sign, though, you know, because what, what we're having now is not a real democracy. We know that we're not living in a real democracy. You know why? Because the majority of voters on the list did not vote in the last election. So we're actually being ruled by a minority government. Minority. Is a, ma is a, majority, is a minority of the majority. Is a minority of the majority, right? So, the, so because the majority of voters do not vote. Our first time, like back in 1998 and 2002, I did some facts check, right? Um, the, voting, the voting population that voted the election were like over 70%. Okay. In, in, in 1980 percent, no, that's a difference from 80 to 70. Um, no, down to 34. It, it was 40, 40, 45 percent. Uh, no, it's at 34 percent. Uh, but may I ask you something before? That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a very, even Prime Minister mentioned about it, that's a very serious situation, you know, regarding the country. Um, the, the country democracy is very serious. So, so what is going to happen is that the more those voting numbers decline, right? What we're going to have is things in the country. The country won't be able to move forward when our politicians won't be able to hold accountable. And there, there, there is room for greater corruption when you have things like that. I may ask so, the, 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 the salary increase on Joel and Sam Nartek, is it possible for him yeah. to reject it? Yeah, it, it, it um. It's possible to reject it, but you can't reject it until, um, like I was saying to you on, a, on one of the podcasts, that it won't come into effect until next year, no matter what they say, because we know how the, the restructuring wage negotiation is, where everything is already into the system. Now, Anjo, Anjo, you have a teacher, them, you have a teacher, them, a strike now, you know. You understand? Yeah, you so you need, right you need. I think the best thing Andrew could have come out and said, right, for this year, I'm going to give, since it won't come in effect till 2024, I'm going to give all my paycheck this year to some, to the, to the poor and needy, and then next year, um, going forward, I, 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 I reject everything. No, he must forget that. At least, he's going, he's going to get at least one year out of it. No, we don't trust, we don't trust Andrew. And, and no matter when he comes with him, yeah, we don't trust him. We don't trust him. We don't trust him. The reason why he is, is not because of um, um, Andrew being Prime Minister and being a politician why we don't trust him. There are reasons why voters can't trust him because of promises he made in 2016 when he was running against Porsche and failed to deliver. Uh, may I ask you something? You can't trust like those. May I ask you something before we wrap up? And don't deliver on them. May I ask you something before we wrap up? Um, you see, yeah. you, you sleep with your, your window and door open? Can't. That is another promise. He said we'll be able to sleep with our windows and, and door open. And we can't sleep with our windows and door open. In fact, the country is getting worse. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> Regarding that. Uh, we're getting worse, would you? Anjo. As we reach a situation where gunmen, um, Especially regarding crime, feel free are uh, having enough freedom to shoot up a bus. No, what like, what happened what? in Jamaica before? Well, we're not gonna see it. We're not gonna see it. <laughs> no, I'm, um, I'm not waiting there, you know, but I'm just telling you where the level of the, of of the of the crime situation is, where gunmen feel the need to shoot up an entire bus. Now, ask something. This this rejection of salary increase by Andrew, is it is it possible that it is a political? A political um, strategy. It is. It is a political um, strategy. Why? Because the prime minister himself saw uh, where the opposition leader came out and said that he was giving eighty percent of his charity, and he realized that the opposition leader got a lot of attraction from doing that. But he got the prime minister realized that he got a lot of backlash from his own supporters, his own supporters. I've shot, I've, I've, um, I know a lot of JLP supporters um, that cause normally when, whenever Andrew only says anything on his Twitter page or his Facebook page, they are never, Andrew only says never wrong for them, right? I know scores of them, and guess what? It's the first time I'm seeing these supporters that Andrew only has never been wrong in their eyes. It's the first time I'm seeing that, seeing them bashing him over the salary. So and that, that is actually... A very, very striking, striking point. So if Andrew Oldness roll back the salary increase for the politician, you think that would have make the Jamaican populace them more happier? 
Now we back some vote. Um, the, 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 it, would be, it, it would bring some comfort, but here the parliament it would also bring. It would um, it would also it would bring more a bit more comfort and ease um the the, the tension within the society. But then now a lot of persons won't be convinced by it to one hundred percent to the point where they are still not going to come out of both. That, yes. that is that is the, the next issue. Yes, so the that is done already. To be more comfortable, they are going to think that hey. They are tricking us. They are done. Yeah, yeah, that's what is going to happen. They, they, they are going to say they are tricking us. Because most of the Jamaican population believe that politicians are tricksters. Wow, <laughs> I'm not telling you. Because the TV day, Dan Anderson did a phone where they say that they believe that uh, most of the politicians are corrupt. And but, um, most of the population believe that the, most politicians are corrupt. That, uh, that basically means that they believe that most politicians are tricksters. I never see one prime minister get so much fire yet. And I get burned out, you know? Yeah, you get, a, you get a lot of fire for all of that. And then it's very important that our listeners and viewers also know that all these politicians, right? This is one of the things that upset Jamaicans as well. All of these politicians have, a, have their main job, which is not in politics. Okay. All right, they have so. have their main job that they're getting most of their money from. <laughs> Anjo, 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 wholeness. Jamaican people are look towards you for do some good policies so that we can live and go and work at Jamaica, you know. But you can't continue exactly. where you are doing it. You understand what I say? And I'm sure everybody would like to live in a society like Jamaica yeah. where they can do two big paying jobs. Without, 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 no job, no, 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 if you hold them accountable, no, no target set for you in terms of performance. Exactly. And those are, just, that, those are few hours for the week. You remember that the, 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 the Dharma cities have to be going to work every day. Monday but, to but a man can go there and not look and still are getting 20 million same way. And they don't even have to go back. They're not turning up. You understand? Oh, so Angel. just imagine get, not, going, not, not doing anything because a lot of them said the reason why they don't turn up sometime on Tuesday is because of their jobs. Like I said, they have other jobs. Most of them are lawyers, so sometimes they don't turn up. So imagine you can say, ah, I'm not turning up for work and I'm still collecting a paycheck. Millions of, millions of dollars paycheck without turning up. And just one, just few hours for the entire week. Uh, yeah, just two hours. I feel that Andrew will fix all them problems and make me happy, I know. I understand. And it, 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 I don't think it be fixed because guess what? The parliamentarians need to be held accountable because the issue when they don't turn up in party, you know what happens? We can't pass laws and, legisl and legislation, and then now if we can't pass certain laws and legislation, right? This the, the, the society is going to be backwards. We won't be able to move forward. Okay. All right, we, can't so pass, we can't pass certain laws without they show up in parliament. <laughs> All right, so. Viewers and subscribers, if you're not still there, listen, we want to tell you no thanks for your support and continue to support the channel, you know? Say something to them, Mr. Logic. Yeah, man, big up. Yeah, man, big up to our viewers and subscribers and listeners as well. Um, continue to support, support our channel and ensure that you guys share it uh, with all your loved ones, family members, friends, your relatives, and the wider society. Just share it on your social media platform as we grow 